100 was founded in the early 1990s to provide a collective voice for Chinese American leaders. It has always been very active to bring a Chinese American perspective on issues concerning the Asian Americans and the U.S.-China relationship. Earlier this year, it released principles of guidance for political candidates on China-related issues. Today, we have the Committee of 100 Chairman, Mr. Dominic Inc., to comment on the bilateral relationship in the election year and more. So, can you talk about those principles and why they are necessary? Well, I think that, you know, in, in this very uh, heated campaign season, uh, oftentimes, you know, since U.S.-China are two of the largest GDP in the world, and there are a lot of uh, uh, bilateral trade issue, currency valuation, outsourcing of jobs, uh, environmental or human rights issue that U.S. oftentimes talked about China. Uh, we think that a lot of these topics may get into the political debate. And uh, Committee 100 strongly encourage you know, a constructive, productive debate and we care about U.S. just as much as any other ethnic group. And I, I think that you know the politicians need to be careful when they do China bashing. Oftentimes, they end up hurting the Asian Americans' population instead. And we need to also be honest to talk about why jobs lost in U.S. Mm -hmm. Jobs are not only outsourcing to China. Yeah. Many of the jobs, if we take it away from China, they may end up going to Vietnam, India, and uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, etc. U.S. need to have an honest dialogue among ourselves of why these jobs are going to other countries and not stay in the United States. There should be a lot more cultural exchange mm -hmm. from media, academic, uh, and then uh, civic, and also uh, from national to subnational level. There ought to be a lot more mm -hmm. of the uh, frequent dialogue and exchange between two countries because, frankly, there are a lot of lack of understanding of each other. For example, China is a communist country and U.S., you know, as a uh, Western uh, capitalism and then democratic society, there are differences. We need to just respect each other and say we, they, we are different and trying to seek common ground. But just because U.S. and China are different in many different ways, it doesn't mean that we cannot seek common ground. We can seek common ground to stabilize uh, the world economy. We can seek common ground to protect the environment. Mm -hmm. There are many things U.S. and China can work together. Yeah. We never forget our culture and our heritage. Mm -hmm. So we have an equal fondness of China. We want China to do well. We want U.S. and China to collaborate to help the world to become a better place. Our Committee 100 members are all U.S. citizens, but of Chinese descent. Mm -hmm. We are very proud to be American citizens, and we love our country here. Mm -hmm. That's why we care so much about the U.S. Uh, political direction. And I think that by U.S. people having a better understanding of the historical perspective mm -hmm. of China, have a better understanding of, a, of the Chinese culture, the U.S. folks will have a much better understanding about why there is such a difference between U.S. and China, and they will have a much like higher likelihood to respect this difference mm -hmm. and seek common ground. The challenge for Chinese Americans today is still, uh, in terms of our political voice, is still very weak. Mm -hmm. We don't have any Chinese Americans in, in the Senate. We only have very few you know, uh, Chinese American in the House. Mm -hmm. In terms of in the uh, White House administration and so forth, you know, cabinet members, uh, so far, you know, yeah, we have uh, uh, at one time two, you know, Chinese Americans, uh, secretary, but now down to one, but then we also have Gary Locke now transfer uh, from a secretary of commerce to uh, ambassador, which is, which is all good. I think those are all progress. But I think that if you look at the population of Chinese Americans, if you look at the population of Asian American mm -hmm. also, uh, I would say that uh, we have not get the equal proportion of leadership in the political arena. Don't be afraid to fail, because the more people who try, mm -hmm. the more likely we have more participation, mm -hmm. we have more representations. And I think that is very important for Chinese Americans someday to be an equal 
citizen in the U.S. We would need to have that equal participation or equal representation. We ought to encourage more of the uh, Chinese American who enter into legal field mm -hmm. to not just want to be a successful lawyer. Yeah. We need to encourage them to take a smaller pay mm -hmm. to work as a federal okay. judge, yeah. you know, or, or state judge, federal judge, etc. You know, we need to encourage more people to do that. And we also encourage other Chinese American organization. Uh, not limited to Committee 100, we'd love to have more people to replicate the work that we do. We would not want to say that, uh, well, this is our brand, this is our uh, our, our uh, product, and we don't want people to copy. Actually, the more people who copy it, the better.